Good morning. Is truth for everyone? Let's look at Mark chapter 4, and we're going to look at verses uh, 1 to 9. Let me read. And again he began to teach by the sea, and a great multitude was gathered to him, so that he got into a boat and sat in it on the sea, and the whole multitude was on the land facing the sea. Then he taught them many things by parables, and said to them in his teaching, Listen, behold, a, par a sower went out to sow, and it happened as he sowed that some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds of the air came and devoured it. Some fell on stony ground where it did not have much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no crop. But other seed fell on good ground and yielded a crop that sprang up, increased and produced, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. And he said to them, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. So is truth for everyone? A lot of this depends on the hearers. Some people think that, that understanding truth, that is all for somebody who has, you know, the secret sauce. They have the secret way of interpreting or the, the, the right, we're matching the right symbols to the right allegorical pieces. And every single thing in a parable stands up and has, has a meaning. Not so. Usually in a parable, there's one main point or two main points, usually. And then often, usually, the main point is, uh, that the, if it were a joke, the punchline, it, would be like the last statement. But usually it's like the last statement. In this parable, the last statement was, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. The question there is, is truth for everyone? Jesus says, he who has ears to hear, let that person hear. So we're going to look at the meaning of this parable in a, in a just soon here, in a couple of days. But right now we're just looking at this idea, truth. Who is truth for? Truth is for you, big if, if you have ears to hear. If you're in an attitude to say, I'm interested in God's truth, I'm receptive to God's truth, I, I want it, I want it, I want it no matter how much it will cost me, I want the truth of God, then you can be one who has ears to hear. If you have ears to hear, then God is glad to give you his truth. So as we look at these parables, and we're going to look at uh, a series of parables here, these next few of these presentations. We're looking at the first of all one, the parable of the sower. And Jesus asked the, the, the urgent question as he presents this, do you, do you have ears to hear? So that's what we're looking at. Let's have a word of prayer together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for hearing our uh, concern here. We want to have ears to hear. We want to be right with you. We pray, Lord, and ask that you would watch over us and help us to be people who love the Bible, who want to be nurtured, nourished by the Bible. Help us to be people, Lord, that no matter what the truth costs us, we have ears to hear, because that will mean then that these parables of Jesus, just as all the other things in the Gospel of Mark, that also the parables are for us, because we want your truth at any cost. Thank you for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. May we have ears to hear the truth of God. So, there we are. I want you to pray today. I want you to pray that God will show you uh, anything that's standing in the way of you having ears that are ready to hear is truth for you. If you have an experience where you uh, had to surrender something in order to be able to hear the truth of God, feel free to put it in the comments. God be with you. Have a wonderful day.